read the Bible sometimes, I think the more important things that we learn are in the spaces where nothing is written. And I want to give you a few examples of that because in your life, a lot of times, it will not be the obvious things that will leave the greatest clues to what God has called you to do. One example that I thought of that was when God told Moses his name. He said, I am. And I figured out over time that God didn't get tongue tied about what came next. He wanted to leave it open. We, we want to limit God, right? We want a picture of God that we can hang in our, in our kitchen. We want a picture of Jesus that looks just like somebody with our same last name. But when God left that blank, he wanted you to know that he will not be confined to something that you can call him with human language or a picture that your eyes can perceive.